All right, guys and gals. So yesterday I finished up uh, fixing the the latch in the bottom. So now my door's open, and I, I put the panel back on. And I remembered uh, before I button all this up, I have holes in the bottom of my door. Take a look real quick. Yeah, lots of holes, rust holes in the bottom of this door. I got thinking, well, it's probably the same for the front too. And sure enough, lots of rust holes. So I remembered in my previous truck, which got all rusty, uh, when you're driving at night, plowing or whatever, uh, a lot of that cold air comes up through here. Actually, if you have this plastic down, it's not so bad, but there's always holes in it. And the, uh, the cold air comes up through the door and in through this speaker grill and it freezes up freezes your leg and listen on the driver's side cold air is constantly hitting me there all night while I'm plowing and that's something I'd rather not have to deal with so what I got is what I used the last time had to get another one is the great stuff and the big gap the red can will not expand enough to fill the gaps you need the the big gap filler to fill in holes in the bottom of your door uh, this one here I cut down so I can pull it back as a flap and then if I need to I can duct tape it so that it still has some protection and keeps extra bits of air out. Um, it's just nice to, to have that covered as much as possible. So I'm going to hit this can and hit all four of the doors and uh, just a shout out, I wish they would make smaller cans of this. They I think Home Depot used to make this, the real small ones are like half the size. Problem with this stuff, you use it on something you need and you've used maybe a third of the can. Well, unless you can find something to use it on within a week, uh, the stuff clogs the tip, dries, hardens, and then I, I've used kerosene and, and got uh, Q-tips down in there to clear all of that out and like one out of eight cans I've been able to save and use twice. So that is the problem with this stuff. You hardly ever get a chance to use the whole can. So try and find a bunch of stuff you can do with it. Because once, once you hit the lever there and it starts going, it's really hard to save this can for more than a week or two. So that's the uh, tip. Things to watch out for on that. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this up and then show you the afterwards before I button these doors up and go on to the next project for this truck. First door. There's a lot of hole. There's no way that that's going to fill that. Good lord, I have no idea it was that bad. Man, the whole bottom is gone. What I've done is I had this piece of running board off of something else and it fits down in the trough very nicely. I cut, I get my hacksaw out I just cut these tabs off so it stays flat. I'll run a, a bead around the edge and then on this edge and then set this down in there so it kind of cements here and here on the edges and then I'll take and go along the top all the way around so a little bit underneath for it to seal onto this edge and this edge. Place it in the in the door there and then just go around the edge here and here. It uses a lot less foam than trying to fill that whole thing. The other one, there's a spot I had to redo. It was it was too big. So I cut a piece off and stuck it in there. Good lord, that's yeah, that's gonna have freezing cold air blowing all over your legs all night long when you're plowing so that's no good good grief I, I don't know this may not be big enough we'll find out crazy all right so the driver's door was pretty much rotted from end to end so I found a piece in my scrap pile of uh, aluminum so Got this piece of aluminum laying 
in there and I, I drilled a couple holes to keep this down because the uh, aluminum on it keep riding up. So I put a couple screws in here to keep it at a certain level and I'll paint paint on the outside with like a black paint marker. This door is so rotted I'm not worried about cosmetics. Plus the three tiny little holes so it's not going to matter much. So what I'm going to do is go around the, the edge and fill in the gaps. And uh, that will use a lot less foam this way. So time for foaming. This one had frozen up and I couldn't get the I couldn't get the top undone. It just snapped off. So I took my trusty drill there, drilled carefully down into it, and boom, she come out. So <laughs> I had to hurry up, shove it in the door, and try and use it up. I put my finger over top of the nozzle and that helped till I could get it around. But I wasn't about to throw this whole, this was three quarters full, and this is the big can, not the regular size can. This one, um, I ended up wasting a little bit over on the other side of the door, uh, trying to fill in that big area until I put the uh, plastic channel down, and I got all, all, all four doors done. This one was last. I should have started on this one. I finished right here and still had from here to here about a foot left and of course that's right where it's closest to my leg so start where it's worst and then go from there yeah, it wouldn't be as big a deal if that one over at the passenger side was leaking air so uh i wasn't about to start a new can so i had this old one that wouldn't work it it froze up hardened in the in the tip so i carefully drilled through that and boom, she it just right there. Boosh! This big old basketball size glop. So if you have a can that hardens up on you, you can still use it. So that's a good tip. This stuff's all over my hands. That's the only bad thing about working with this stuff, it gets on everything. So we are fully sealed and ready to put the door panels back on. So here's the finished deal. Normally that's way overstuffed. Normally I, I only go this far, just enough to cover the bottom. But I popped that can and it just started splooging everywhere. So threw it in here, filled it up. So the other side, let me show you that. Went around, went around the plate that I put in there. And then uh, once the can was going, I just put my finger over it and brought it over here to fill fill the rest of this in. Instead of sitting there letting it run on the ground, might as well just shove it in here, empty, empty the rest of the can out. So here's inside the door. That's kind of what it looks like. Some of it will creep, creep out, which it should. Then you just... Uh, Take a knife and just cut that flush. Then put your door panels on and you're ready to go. And that provides a lot more insulation if you have rusty doors. So, you take these off. Put that fold back down and then I'll just hit a piece of tape on there and there, just hold them down. And put the panel on, we're good. So that project is over. Yeah. All right, so I'm driving the V10 out to get the exhaust fixed, and I uh, it's a pretty cold day. The weather's definitely turned. It's uh, November the 7th, and it's about 25 degrees out. So I'm um, remembering I did the insulation down the door. Feel my hand down here. No cold air coming in at all through the speaker grill. I can feel the heat coming through the, the vents and the, you know, the floor, but no cold air 